So the Grandmaster Nightfall for this week is dropping arguably the best sniper rifle in the game. Now I want to preface this video by saying that I am not a sniper. I occasionally snipe and really I only ever pull out a sniper rifle when there is literally nothing else I could do. Like I have to combat another sniper on the opposing team so therefore I will pull a sniper rifle out. Silicon Neroma though, this sniper rifle makes you want to snipe. Now big shout out to the gents that allowed me to play with their god rolls this past week. We're going to talk about this PvP roll real quick before we talk about the PvP e roll. However, to my PvE players, I really want you to consider the sniper rifle. I'm in a 3.8 rating on the sniper. What the hell, fellas? It's an aggressive frame. It's in the kinetic slot. It can load with things like firing line and triple tap. What more do you want? But let's talk about PvP. This was the role I was very interested in. This snapshot opening shot role. Now, there's been some talk here recently about snapshot in the most recent TWAB, which is why I'm really glad we waited until now to review the sniper rifle. But essentially, Bungie stated that all sniper rifles are really slow to ready and aimed out sights with which has made snapshot a mandatory trait, and it has. So they're actually reducing the stow ready and aim down sight times by 10%. Now this is not much, but of course 10% stacked with say a dexterity mod, some targeting mods. Targeting mods of course increase that ADS time, but Bungie didn't mention that snapshot will still feel about the same. It's just that weapons without snapshot will feel a lot snappier. Currently right now though, without a doubt, this snapshot opening shot roll is godly. Very, very good. Opening shot, which improves the accuracy and range on the opening shot of an attack. And again, not necessarily something you need on a sniper rifle in terms of range, but dude, that aim assist buff plus 20, that minus 5% accuracy cone, this is beautiful. And considering you're always trying to go for that first shot, being a crit shot, having opening shot there load that accuracy up, you can immediately tell the benefits here, especially when playing with controller. Like I literally felt like I couldn't miss when using controller and this sniper rifle. Now I will say this, considering that snapshot may not be necessary next season, right there fellas, firmly planted. It, that may be the way to go. You've got Firmly Planet that also helps with that accuracy cone while crouch. And for the longest time, you really couldn't double stack two accuracy perks like Opening Shot Firmly Planet, even though it is present on other sniper rifles, because you needed Snapshot. You needed it. But next season may prove otherwise. Now, let me go over some of the other benefits about this sniper rifle, specifically in PvP. If you use Silicon Aroma and you're like, man, this thing feels fantastic. How am I able to snag headshots so easily? Well, the primary reason is because that zoom is 43, which is a very low zoom, meaning it's easier to snap on to those headshots whenever you need to. And there's a reason why Revoker at one time was the meta sniper rifle, of course, outside of Reversal of Fortune, but also because it had 35 zoom. Bungie has made an aim to increase the zoom pretty much on all sniper rifles. What's so impressive here about Silicon Neroma is that its zoom is less than that of so many other sniper rifles in our current rotation. Thousand Yard Stare, Adore, Eye of Soul, Shepherd's Watch, Praden's Revenge, but the only recent sniper rifle rifle that comes under that is Father Sin, which sits at a 35 zoom. So having 43 zoom on an aggressive frame is extremely impressive, which is why it's able to pick those headshots off so easily. Now, another benefit about getting the adept version of this weapon is the ability to, of course, slot on adept mods. Most notably for my controller players, adept targeting. Yeah, you want some extra nasty? I know adept targeting hurts your stability, but it gives that plus 10 in aim assist. And for the most part, you really don't need stability if you're just trying to go for that first shot kill, right? Very rarely am I I gonna sit there, take gunfire to the face, and try to get that second shot if I miss that first shot. Now, with that being said, let's talk about the god roll based on what we know going into next season. First up, Bungie has made changes to weapon types and flinch resistance and tying it to stability. Something to take note of about these sniper rifles in general, but especially Silicon like Aroma, is that stability is poor at 25. You tack on that targeting mod, that drops that stability even lower, which means combating flinch is gonna be harder for this sniper rifle. Now, quite frankly, at 100 stability, you're only looking at a 10% reduction there in flinch or flinch resistance. Long story short, I don't necessarily think loading out stability here is the answer. However, for PvP, I do like armor piercing rounds, especially on an aggressive frame. But going into the next sandbox, I think firmly planted opening shot is definitely the way to go. And if you still want to do snapshot opening shot, that roll is still going to be very, very good. Hands down, guys, to me, currently, Silicon Aroma is the best sniper rifle in the game for both controller players and mouse and keyboard players. It felt really good using the sniper rifle. And as someone who has really stepped away from sniper rifles for so long, if I was to get this roll, hands down, I would be using it inside of PvP, especially in game modes like Trous. And you're going to see a resurgence of sniper rifles going into the next season, considering the shotgun nerf, the fusion rifle nerf, ammo reduction, the stompy nerf. I actually think a lot of Crucible is going to slow down. So you're going to see people taking back to the laning again, most notably with sniper rifles. And whether you like that play style or not, Silicon Aroma is going to be a sniper rifle that will dome you quite often. Now, we'll make one other 
mention about Adept Icarus, because I know a lot of people like to jump snipe, but there's going to be airborne effectiveness stat going into place next season. Adept Icarus, though, will grant you plus 15 airborne effectiveness stats and plus five handling, the removing the range bump that it gives you. Something to just keep in mind, guys, for those that like their sniper rifles to feel snappy, considering Bungie is going to be giving them a 10% buff and their overall fluidity and handling, that combined with an Adept Icarus mod could still allow you to go for those jump snipes and simultaneously still have a fast handling sniper. Now, let's talk about PvE real quick. Hands down, guys, the god roll for this weapon, triple tap, firing line all day long. 20% more damage there with firing line, triple tap with the ability to create ammo. Without a doubt, this is the way to go. For me, I want to see anti-barrier sniper rifle return. We had it that one season. It was very good, like super good. And considering that Bungie is now going to be nerfing Arbalest going into the next season, which I don't like, but they're doing it anyways, this would be a perfect opportunity for Bungie to give us anti-barrier for sniper rifles yet again. Don't know if it's going to happen, but that's definitely a role I would want to have. You'll essentially be able to just shred down a champion. And by the way, considering that this is an origin weapon, it does have two different origin traits. One of them being stunning recovery, where stunning a champion partially refills your magazine and triggers health regeneration and improves recovery for a short duration. So again, that's a plus 40 there in your recovery, refreshes that mag and heals 60 HP. Guys, again, if we happen to get anti-barrier sniper rifle, whether it's next season or the season after, this role right here is going to be godly in your hands. And I would combine it with things like a pendant mag just to give you that bump there in magazine or armor piercing rounds which by the way does five percent bonus damage to shielded enemies most notably barrier champions also for my pvp players i would just use the vanguard's vindication origin trait it only heals seven hp on kill but it's still a little bump there in health who knows guys if you're like going for the trade and your opponent is just doing enough damage to get the kill on you and you happen to kill him at the same time as his bullet is hitting you that seven hp especially considering latency inside of destiny may actually keep you alive so guys that is silicon aroma a very underrated weapon inside of pve get the adept version of this gun guys it's dropping double loot this week in glassway and by the way if you haven't checked out our glassway guide we gave build suggestions on how to lock this nightfall down feel free to check that out grind for this sniper rifle guys because you're gonna regret it if you don't get a good roll of this weapon and i want one for both pve and for pvp so i'm gonna be grinding right next to y'all but fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right Thank you